August 29th, we're going to be uh, heading and opening ceremonies for the uh, Paralympic Games in London. And joining us, we have two athletes who we expect will be making their trips back to the Paralympics. Uh, a Amy Kneebone is looking to make her second trip to the Paralympics in goalball. And Jason Dunkley, a, tra a track and field athlete, looking to make her fourth trip back to the Paralympic Games. Uh, welcome to our show. And uh, as we were talking, this is really the excitement. This is the year building in the next uh, 365 days to, to getting back there. Jason, what's it like for you? Yeah, we're a year away, and it's it's so crazy how the time flies. You know, I feel like we were talking about the Paralympics being two and a half years away and 18 months away, and all of a sudden, you know, we're a year to go. So it's it's kind of like game on. Game on. Now, uh, your training sessions are, are pretty intense. You guys are you guys are we're talking training six, seven times a week. Uh, Amy, for you, what's it like? You've got a lot of the core of the, the goalball team here in Ottawa, and yet you're still heading out to Calgary about once a month to, to train with the national team. Um, yeah, it's. It's exciting. Like uh, we're we're basically on the home stretch now. So mm -hmm. it's you know everyone's working hard, and with four of the six athletes being in Ottawa, we get to practice more together, and hopefully it'll it'll help us in London and you is, know our dream to be on the podium. Yeah, is is there that right? You so you placed fifth uh, at the last Olympics. What has the transition been over the last uh, well three years now uh, into building up so that you're hoping to get on the podium? Uh, our team has basically changed since. Uh, the Beijing Games, and it's uh, we're a lot younger. We have a uh, sorry, we have a, a younger team now, yeah. and uh, we finished fourth at our World Championships in 2010. So with just younger athletes, and you know everyone's putting in the the time and effort right now. The one thing that we were just talking about is you will have the opportunity in December. Is that right to, to have the opportunity to to compete at the t at the facility and get a test run? Yeah, in uh, December, the top four teams in the in the, the world plus the host nation. Uh, we get to have full access to the competition floor, the venue, so it'll be great to go and you know just check out the atmosphere then. And Now for people who are unfamiliar with Global, how, how does it work? Especially to, since you'll be able to test out the facility. Um, well, it's, uh, you have three people on the court on, at each time. You have your center and your two wingers. And um, it's the size of a volleyball court and you have a ball with bells in it. And since the sports for blind and visually impaired, we're all wearing uh, blacked out eye shades. Mm -hmm. So no one can see at all. And you use the bells in the ball for, uh, for hearing to try to stop the ball from going in your nine meter goal line. That's a nine meter goal line. Yeah. Uh, so best of luck to you and, and enjoying the process of hopefully being able to test out and being at that test facility. And Jason, for you, a lot of changes. Uh, you've had the same guide uh, for the last uh, three Paralympics. And so a lot of changes for you as you're heading into this final stretch. Is that right? Yeah, I'm going to be moving forward with a, with a new guide over the next next year. And it's, um, um, you know, uh, my previous guide, Greg, Dale and I have had a, an amazing run together. And um, um, we've lived in different cities. Now um, I have a chance to, to move forward with uh, with an athlete who just returned here from uh, uh, from a scholarship in the States, mm -hmm. Josh Karanja. So really excited about, about that and, and where that's going to hopefully go. And um, just just uh, you know it's going to be a, a super busy year there's going to be a lot of um, a lot of competing and, and a lot of hard work to do um, everybody always comes out for the Paralympics and people are at their very best so it's um, exciting nerve-wracking but uh, just hoping to be able to go in in the best shape we've ever been in well best of luck exciting nerve-wracking all of the above and uh, truly an inspiration to so many of the younger generations who are looking to be able to qualify and get involved in the Paralympics as well you guys have been great role models for that best of luck we'll Thank be you. talking about you in a year's time uh, we are gonna take a uh, quick trip to arm prior right now uh, checking in with Sarah Freemark who's uh, I don't know I'm digging in definitely with some french fries later on this morning Sarah